excellent connection. Hey, hey, we are here. Looks like some people are showing up. Uh, let me uh, pull up my image. Oh, there I am. Do do do. My hair is a mess. I have so little of it right now, but it's still a mess. I'm Dan Goodsell. This is Crazy Kids Food Live. And what is it doing? Why is it doing? Wait, what happened? Oh, I don't know what's happening. I'm trying to move this over so I can see it. Uh, Global Pop Culture is here. Groovy Archives are here. Good morning to everyone. Um, I'm here <laughs> doing whatever it is that I do, which is, um, Jason's here. Of course, Jason's here for the candy and gum episode. This is candy and gum. This is the final episode. I'm wearing my Sour Bites t-shirt that I had made a few years ago on one of those sites that makes, um, t-shirts. Um, my mom is here. Hello, mom. I think my brother Rich is probably listening or watching along also. Um, yeah, so this is the final episode of Crazy Kids Food Live because I've pretty much gone through all of my Crazy Kids food. <laughs> um, I could do more, but it would just be me doing the same exact things over and over again. I'll probably do a special episode for Halloween in a month and a half uh, where I do all the Imagineering stuff. And then maybe occasionally I'll hop on here and do a new a new live something or other. This show might be a little longer because the candy and gum box is very deep so we're gonna try and get through all of it um and the place I'm gonna start is with sour bites um sour bites were a sweet tart like candy boom there are sour bites as I remember them and this is a really cool um beech nut sweet nothings I mean, that's the thing about candy is there's just so much stuff. Candy and gum is just like you could spend your whole lifetime just trying to recreate or dig up a, an amount of this stuff here. Uh, if your original art for product. Um, I, I showed some of the original art when we did post cereal. Um, maybe I'll do the post cereal art one at one point. But, you know, as I was saying, there are so many aspects to candy and gum. There's, there's, I collect more sort of charactery stuff and things, you know, but like, you know, Lifesavers lollipops. You're never going to find these boxes, you know? I mean, somebody might have one of them, you know, and as I was saying, like this Sour Bites package, I still haven't seen one. Um, you know, look at all these breath savers. Look at, look at all these sweet nothings. You know, Jason, who's on here, has been collecting this kind of stuff for a million years. And, you know, he has a, I know he has a, a lot of these soft chunk bubble yums, but it, it's just a nearly endless thing. So when I started collecting, I really wanted to find this package because, um, <laughs> I've already lost the thing I wanted to show immediately. Because when I was a little kid... I cut this tiny square out of one of the packages and saved it. So that was so that was really one of my primary things that got me started collecting. And as you can see, that thing has a black background and this has a white background. I remember this packaging being black. Okay. So that was one of the primary things I wanted to find. And through the years, I've turned up little tiny bits and pieces. This is like a little plastic sign that would have hang, hung off of some sort of little rack for the yipe stripes bites and then this somebody dug off and this is a sticker that would have been affixed to a like some little rack that somebody then peeled off and you know there's my guy and as you can see the colors a little different uh, colors are pretty similar and then lo and behold at some point my buddy Jason, who's on here right now, thank you, Jason, found a Sour Bites package. 
yipe stripes. This one is not that sort of more rec more square one. This one's a, a little longer and thinner, but what the heck? I finally got one, and I put it in this nice uh, plastic case so it never gets messed up. So I got one finally. Um, I'd still like to find the other one, but this this is this will do for now <laughs> and that's the thing about all collecting is you know there's so much of the this will do for now um because you know uh, and that's the thing i started collecting probably in i started collecting in like 86 87 i started going to the flea market and then the toy shop magazine came out in 89 and so what is it now 2020 so that's 31 years so i've been actually collecting and looking for this stuff longer than I wasn't. So it's kind of strange when you sort of get to that uh, sort of point where you've been collect, you know, your collecting knowledge is, is longer than your childhood knowledge. I think it's kind of an interesting thought. So Sour Bites, main thing I was looking for um, is found in a board game box. And another guy, Oscar Moreno, found one crumbled up inside of a lamp and he's like he pulled it out and he's like no one would care about this and he threw it away and then i think a couple months later he got my want list and was like i shouldn't have thrown that away so you gotta put it out there and you know you know jason who does all the candy stuff i put it out there and and he found one so you just keep putting it out there and hopefully those things that you dream of will come around so one of the other primary things about candy was the Willy Wonka candies, which I grew up on and I loved, loved, loved. And so that was one of my primary things I was really looking for when I started collecting. And one of the most interesting things I found in Willy Wonka was I found this, um, it's like the sales information. And part of the sales information is this, and it's a, Basically, it's a mock, a, a miniature version of the dump display that they would have sent your store. <laughs> you know, so this would have been in the grocery store, in the convenience store. And it's a giant dump bin. Um, and this is like a miniature replica of it. And so, like, once again, here's, a, here's another thing that we're probably never going to see is this whole big display. But luckily, this sort of weird... Uh, uh, <laughs> Re miniature reimagining of it did survive and along with that came this great um sales uh it's like a book it wasn't in a book it was just a loose leaf and as you can see the initial willy wonka candy when it came out willy wonka was uh, owned by quaker cereal and of course it tied in to the willy wonka movie and then the 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 uh, the uh, main the first thing they sort of did was they did the candy making kit, which is pretty common out there. They must have sent a billion of these out to kids. And there was the golden ticket, so you would you would um, have this golden ticket, and then boom, you could send it away for the kit. And then at one point, I I had the cereal, I had the Captain Crunch box at one point, beautiful box. Um, and the first two candies were just the Super Scrunch and the Oopas. And then, you know, you can see, you know, there's a there's a sexy press photo of it. And it came in these little three packs. Or that's probably a six pack, actually, isn't it? Yeah, it's a six pack. So six pack, and then you buy boxes of 12, boxes of 24, or 24 six packs. And then here's all the Super Scrunch stuff wonderful and then here we go um i have this so here we have all the sort of things here's the big display and look at how big is that thing so have yourself 246 packs 10 cases occupies all that floor space it's huge what is it how is it how big does it say it is 65 inches so it's almost six feet tall um this shelf wobbler i have the shelf wobbler somewhere there's a set of four buttons which um, show up, and then there's a bumper sticker. I think I have that bumper sticker somewhere too. And here's, you know, Profit Forecaster. It tells you what you wanna wanna order. And then there's all this, you know, just some more sales stuff. They're gonna do a special Christmas showing of Willy Wonka. 
They did some sort of Burger Chef tie-in, which we did Burger Chef last week. Never seen anything about that. Um, some stuff, proven sales success in non-food outlets. So Zayers and Woolworths, Gray Drugs, Cat's Drugs. And, uh, and let's team up with the coupons. So that's, that's a whole little kit that sort of, you know, once again shows a bunch of really unusual information that you like aren't going to get anywhere else um so these are what um the display box they're not really display boxes they're the boxes that would have gone out to um liquor stores or whatever and so it's, it's got like this really nice graphics on the bottom so it's like full color and then the top is is just a little different so and just that Willy Wonka character is just just really great. Um, just when the such such classic, nice advertising. Uh, let's see, I got one more of these, and then here's a Opas. More plain. Got a gnat in here. And you know why did this get saved? Xmas ornaments. So they put the Christmas. You know, somebody at the liquor store carried these home, and. Uh, kept Christmas ornaments in them and then somebody probably brought those Christmas ornaments out to the flea market and the flea market person saw them and you know somebody had the bright idea to to uh, save those boxes why is this first one? Oh, there it is. this one's another really super cool piece this is a scrum diddly umptious um uh, like another little dump bin so this would have been you know would have come full of the candy bars and then this would have just sat on the counter and you could just reach in there and um, grab a scrum diddly umptious bar and you know if you can't see bars through this peak hole you sold over 24 bars now's the time to use your golden cooper and, and reorder and what is this 73 quick growths company Amazing thing about it is I actually had two of these, and I, I think I traded one of them to Jason. But it's just, you know, just really nice. We, like, what a nice color scheme, you know. Purple and brown and orange and yellow and red. Ugh, really nice. And it's this thing's nice and sturdy, so, it's, uh, so it holds up pretty well. Then we get into some of the wrappers. It's a nice... Boom pause. This one, there's this one guy that saved all these wrappers and he two hole punched them and kept them in some sort of binder or some way. Um, but you know, it's explaining what's going on in the candy, chocolate and peanut and candy shell because, you know, when you introduce a new candy like that, you got to sort of um, let the people know what's going on. This is the really. Oh, there's that Unicamp thing. <laughs> There it is, peanut umpas. And on the vitamin show, I was talking about these Unicap vitamins, and that's where it is. It's packed away with that. <laughs> Neo Coolville is here. Um, and then this is a, a little later one. Very cool. Um, then we got, let's see. I'm a little disorganized today, as you can tell. Like, I'm not always disorganized. So there's... Super Scrunch. Then there's, these are just, uh, let's get these right. Average Scrunch. <laughs> um, scrum Diddly Umptious. And there's lots of variations on these wrappers. Um, all sorts of different variations on these wrappers. So, once again, another thing, you could spend a lifetime looking for these. Uh, and then, Oh yeah, where's that other? So that, you know, this Super Scrunch has the big Willy Wonka and then this sort of, I think this is the later one. You know, he's just uh, just up there in the corner. I think this one's later. This one has a cool mood ring offer. Um, and then another of the sort of toughest ones to find is the original, let me put a little piece of white behind this so you can see it a little better. The original Everlasting Gobstoppers. And this packaging was super cool because it'd be like, I think maybe this one just had one or maybe it had two. 
this just one or two? This might have had two. And so when the gobstopper was in there, then the face would look like it was on the gobstopper, which is like super cool. And then as gobstoppers went along, they um, they started making these mini ones that were just in a box, which is a lot sort of easier to handle and, and better to sort of do, deal with for kids. And this is a little later one. And this is cool. This is a bag for the midgets. Probably each one would just be individually wrapped in there. Yeah, it's just really cool. And then, of course, Willy Wonka went on to do about a million other weird uh, things like wacky wafers, runts, and once again, um, there are just a mi oh, here's another. You know, sometimes you just find these really scrappy parts of packages. You know, it's like a little cutout trading card thing. Um, a little later runts box as you can see they put a little window in here at a certain point so you can see what's going on with them and you can see this is a much later logo of him and you know little tiny runts like this probably for like Halloween and of course then there's nerds which nerds is a is a whole other classification of stuff you could uh, you could collect the only one of those I still have is I have a uh, rinky dinks which is a very similar to a nerd's. I think they're just a little bigger. So that's Willy Wonka. Another really classic, uh, classic product. Um, Razzles. Razzles are great flavored gum, but they're kind of like, they go in kind of like candy and then um, you chew them up. But this is like a, this is a great flavor. There's a, raspberry flavor there's like a juicy mixed flavor one and then this is a nice full one Let's pull this one out and it's like you know i mean that's design that is that is perfection of design just the all those sort of colors and the little faces and everything um just just love them to death and that's the thing. I, re you know, I remember all these candies from from being a kid, and so, you know, although I am far from having the largest candy collection in the world, I just try to find the things that I really love. These are these neat little chiclets, and you know, this one's this one's still full, and on the back they have just the picture sort of with her in her belly, and these ones are just like really weird. Um, she's like a leopard and like zebra stripes on the other one and then uh, these ones little cowboy and Indian boy I don't know how many different of these they made you know but these are the only four of those I've ever found um, they're really 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 cute um, oh yeah more razzles no oh, we'll do the rest of these razzles and then these are some of the some of the later razzles as you can see, uh, not a design that I like as much. But this one's kind of cool because you went a, went a trip to Disney World. And then uh, getting some little character stuff going on in there. On the other side, lemon. And then this one, this one's still full. These ones are sour razzles. And you know. It's like a double bubble tennis racket cover. You know, what kid wasn't looking for something to cover their tennis racket with? Um, Pop Rocks, the classic. These actually show up a fair amount, which is kind of nice. And it's like a, whoops, it's like a later one. Probably, probably from like the 90s or, I don't know, this is, eh, I don't know when this is from. It says, from, I don't know why this is even in here. And then, super fun, um, Cosmic Candy. So there's like Cosmic Candy. And 
More cosmic candy. Oh, I have so many of these orange ones. Oh, one says 20 cents and one doesn't. But cosmic candy is also space dust. Uh, I don't know which one came first. People smarter than me know all the history of all this stuff. So cosmic candy and space dust. And then watermelon. There's a few kind of more obscure flavors. There's a water this watermelon and then I think there's one more that's that's pretty tough to find. Um then we get into <laughs> good and plenty boxes. Uh I think space is kind of done by our Doug Johnson. Okay. Um and the thing about good and plenties is they often have sort of fun things on the back. So there was a series of magic tricks, um, giant size posters, Choo Choo Charlie tote bags, um, M Oodle Magic, sweatshirt. You could order a Horner Harmonica Instruction Book. Uh, let's see, do I have any more? And then let's see, a couple more I think in here. What's this one? Another little cutout. And then, super cool, Good and Fruity. And Good and Fruity boxes are like 10 to 20 times rarer than Good and Play boxes. <laughs> I think this is the only good and fruity I've ever found. And I, you know, you saw all the good and plenties, and that's not even all the good and plenties I've ever found. I found a bunch more. Um, Jujubees. Uh, <laughs> Superman Krypton Bubblegum in this little bag. Here's a Sugar Babies with a sports ticket. I think I had a bunch of these. Yeah, see, there's another one of those. Uh, Sugar Daddy Jr. Um, okay, back to some more candy boxes. Red Hots. Candy Imperials. Oof, nothing I would ever eat. Uh, one of my favorites, the old Lemon Head. Inspired one of my characters, Lemon Ed. I originally called him Lemon Head, and at a certain point I changed it to Lemon Ed, so there was some differentiation. These boxes are super cool. Oh, I didn't bring the big candy merchandiser book. Um, so there's a whole series of these little chase boxes, each one with these little characters, including like a Red Hots box where it's like a devil on there. It's so gorgeous. Oh my God. It's one of the most gorgeous candy boxes ever. I do not have it. Lemon Bits. Mike and Ike's. And yeah, these uh, Just Born, Jason has tons of tons of stuff on Just Born. So if you're really into Just Born stuff, um, you should go check out his uh, thing. Atomic Fireball. There's all sorts of different variations on the Fireball too, which once again, uh, you could spend a lifetime. These are really cool. I don't collect a lot of Japanese stuff, but I had these kind of boxes when I was a kid. I used to go to the Japanese... Uh, um, grocery store and buy stuff like this and save these boxes and I had this Ray Dean box um, and then they come with like stickers and things but they're just beautiful boxes um, I would love to find more of these and they also made like this tube one that had these little stickers in it and uh, I've been looking for one of those forever uh, Sun Tarts I think sun tarts were called sun tarts some places and sweet tarts, sweet tarts other places. Um, the thing I started with in the promo or on the picture is this guy, which is the Lifesavers Candy Gum Fun House with free bicentennial fun and games booklet inside. And as you can see, I sort of mocked it up. So, you, you know, I put the candy in there and um, just absolutely amazing i probably should have played that commercial that's a commercial you should go and watch there's this really great commercial with all these monsters um but this is a super fun piece and then i have the other one which is this really cool um 
choo-choo train with um, the Fruit Stripe Zebra. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Um, this one's really interesting. It's a $6 million man bionic bar. So it's sort of a, um, it's like a, not a tiger's, you know, kind of a granola bar, but it's, it's, uh, it's, got, I think it has chocolate on it. Does it have chocolate? What does it say? No preservatives. Oh yeah. Chocolatey outside, chewy peanut butter inside. So it's basically like a tiger's milk bar. But this one, I think I found at the, the Glendale show and you know, it's still in there. And it was just sitting on the shelf. I'm like, what the hell is that? I think it's dated. I think it's dated, you know, from whenever the show was. It's really early. And, you know, the lady pulled it out. And she's like, oh, that's $5. I'm like, uh, give that to me. I accept. Here's your five, five whole dollars. And that's the thing. You find just like crazy stuff like that. You're like, this is, this is nuts. Um... So Rolo wrapper. Let's see what else we got here. You know, there's just with candy, there's just so many little it's little bits and, and pieces. Leaf gravel bubble gum. You know, look at this. This is like a just butterscotch balls. And then so this would have been folded over over a bag, and then on the back you get this neat Halloween mask. And that's the thing about, you know, candy is like, they, you know, you could come in and do like all this new stuff, like for Halloween. So, you know, all this new stuff would come out for Halloween to sort of move candy along. Sugar babies. Another wrapper that's pretty hard to find, Chunky. You know, milk duds. Rainbow Rain blow rubble, and that probably another thing to sort of compete with um, um, whatever those Willy Wonka things were that I've already forgotten the name. Um, gobs, not gobstoppers. Um, nah, my brain. Ah, uh, it's wonderful having a brain that works occasionally. Nerds, and uh, nerds are one of those things. I'm always surprised at their level of popularity, but that was like. One of those classic brands that came along, not classic, but it's a, a new thing. You know, like a really new kind of candy category. And it's always interesting when you see like a new candy category come along. This is a really cute, cute one. This one's kind of in sad shape. Juji Fruits. Juji Fruits. Really tiny Halloween. Juji Fruits. Probably, you know, this one. Like, literally probably had, you know, three Juju Fruits in there. You can't be like, one, two, three. Oh, here's a nice early Leaf Whoppers. I think Jason found a few of these. Um, and the fun thing, the Sugar Daddies had all these different little card issues. So this one had the Animal Heroes. Then you could get an album. My nose is really itchy today. This Sugar Mama just says trading card inside there so you don't know what you're getting with that one this one says valuable premiums they had a lot of premium offer to offers too this is really cute this really neat chunky kid um cello wrapper and here's like a early slow poke and as you can see a more 70s slow poke and we're getting through the some stuff we might get through this box oh this is cool this is for um a gumball machine here's runts so you could buy runts out of the gumball machine nice charms blow pops wrapper this one's really neat mickey mouse disney comic inside and then also has like this neat card game offer yeah slowpoke kid is cool this one's got the animal cards. This one's just a valuable premiums. This one's animals and flags. Here's another Wide World of Sports must have been a sponsor. Oh, and here's a, for some reason, this super scrunch is in there. 
and a really cool little tartan tinies with like these little weird tartan tinies guys this is a really pretty box that's a really pretty box mm, 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 mm. <sighs> okay uh where are we um a couple more really interesting um this one's kind of a this one's kind of double it's a fruit stripe 10 pack that also would have had one pack of sour bites in there mm. and a million years ago i was i was shopping in an antique mall in i think pennsylvania maybe maybe in allentown i went downstairs and there in the bottom were two packs like this but it was lifesavers gum full and um I think I broke those open and I sold them pack by pack for a number of years until they were all gone. I would much rather have found one of these or two of these. Um, and this is super cool. Really nice fruit stripe. Um, all the way back. You know, just like these crazy things. Wisecracks, bubble gum. So there's like a joke or something on each ball. These weird little uh, grab bags that have toy and then like a little piece of candy in them. <sighs> Pizza bubble gum swell. Oh, I'm making a big mess. I'm making a big mess. Then again, when am I not making a big mess? Um. Yeah, it's kind of a crinkly day because a lot of things are, uh, a lot of things are kept in, uh, <laughs> kept in. Oh, this is, I've posted this pictures of this before many times because it is one of my favorite craziest things that I've ever found. Um, the chewing gum elephant puppet. So you stick your finger through the center of this thing. I think it's just like wax gum. This is basically just a piece of wax. But he's just the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> and you can see there's little eyes on there and everything. And a little, little mouth. It's just like so weird. What is it? You can put it on a so soda straw. You put it in. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. So weird. So, so very weird. Um... Dentine Dynamins. As you can see, it's like... Yeah. And these are pretty much the same as Tic Tacs. Um, just more short, more short-lived. These ones are really great. Man, my... Um, they're UFO candies. And then you're supposed to use the thing as a flying lid. But the great thing about these is on the bottom of the thing is a classic UFO um, uh, UFO sighting. So this one is the Red Glower. 20 groups of 2 to 9 objects shaped like aircraft with red surrounding them glow. Sighted April 20th, 1952 at 2115 hours over drive-in movie by an aviation student and his wife. Huh. Is the elephant candy from Glenn's Confections of Buffalo? Mm. Mm. Yes, it is. Yes, it most definitely is. Are they the ones that made all the waxy stuff? I don't know. So another one of those. So you know, I think there's like twelve different. So you gotta, you gotta collect all twelve of those. Another, another thing for you to have to do. <laughs> I have three there. I might have one or two elsewhere. And that's the thing, you know. You can, with, you know, when you get into gum, you have bazooka labels. I mean, are there a thousand different bazooka labels to collect? Probably. Are there 5,000? Maybe. Wax lips for sure. Okay, so they made, they're the ones that made the wax lips and all that crazy stuff. Wait, which way does this go? It does go this way. Double goes this way. I don't know what this thing is driving me crazy. It goes every direction. 
Um, and there's all these with Bazooka Joe, you know, you have stuff like this. You have these fold out premium catalogs. And then you have, you know, like these insert cards. Oh, look, more bubblegum, you know. More bubblegum labels. Uh, this is a nice early foil one with a date sort of comic on the back. More of this kind of stuff. This stuff's, this stuff's blowny stuff. And there's also these kind of labels that actually sort of have miniature comic strips. I didn't even get into my... Um, I didn't even get into my double bubble collection. I have like a collection of of the double bubble bubblegum wrappers. Not wrappers, the comics. And I probably, they, there's at least, they number up to like 600. And I probably have like 300 different of those at least. And here's like, this is like a, the Bloney uh, catalog. And then bazooka catalog that's like a little it's a little catalog another bazooka fold out catalog another bazooka gift book a little halloween game and party book from double bubble you know guess the witch and you know like i say with all this stuff you know this one has the frankenstein glow-ons more even more you know like these ones are all the like offer ones actually that one shouldn't be in there that should be with my other stuff <sighs> more 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 this is a super interesting comic this is a series of blackbeard's ghost comic strips that came in. What did these come in? Walt Disney's. Oh, Sugar Daddy, Sugar Mama, and Sugar Babies. Super cool Black Be Blackbeard's Ghost. And then there's Lickamade. We'll have more Lickamade later as I find them. And each one of these has more little redeemable garbage prizes. Do I have any Hershey products? Not a lot, but we'll get to the, the more sort of... I don't collect a lot of generic candy wrappers. So um, I try to get stuff that's more colorful, more sort of dynamic. You know, if there's character on there, this is really early Lickamade. made And then these are the sort of more... It's more 60s-ish Lickamade. made I don't collect a lot of just general candy bar wrappers. I mean, I have some but I don't have a lot. Um, another category you can collect are the Fleer Tattoos. Hercules so on the back is a tattoo. Woody Woodpecker tattoo. Um, the Banana Splits, the tattoo is separate. So I've got, you know, I've got a few of the... I mean, putting together a whole... Um, a whole like all of those would be near impossible Milton the monster here's like a loose woody woodpecker a bullwinkle nice mr. Peabody and somebody at some point found the underdog ones because these are uncut and so I bought like all the ones with like my favorite all the go-go gophers characters oh, I tried to get all the all the cool go-go gophers ones that I could because I'm a Huge Go Go Gophers um, fan. Phantom Chews. I think this might be. This might be British. Yeah, that is British. That is British. Um, as with all things, there's always more. <laughs> so we got tiny sized chiclets. Get a little bent in the corner. This is a beautiful one. 
tiny size pink marshmallow flavor one. Oh, it's good looking. Good, good looking. And then this is a really nice sweet tarts. And then this one has a has a UPC, but it's still, you know, probably I would guess like 80s. But super good looking. What is going on here? I don't know. Two things folded together. Um, what are all these? These are these are double bubble decal. Uh, yeah. So this is like a decal, a water decal that you would have put probably on a, uh, a glass machine. Sweet Tarts is Canadian, yeah. I don't want those. This is an insert card for the Double Bubble Zoo Tattoos. We might find the. Oh, we're going to find those in one second. These are two. These are a couple of um, Sun Tarts. And then with those, with the Double Bubble Zoo, all right. I've got, I bought a bunch of these at one point, and so I pulled all the tattoos and tried to make as near a set of the animals as I could. I mean, look at this guy. Pew! <laughs> so cute. And I have the wrapper for that somewhere here, too, probably. This is like original art for the back of a baseball card. Mm, let's see what else. You know. <laughs> it's just... Ah, this crazy stuff. And then, you know, Bazooka Joe comics. How many do you need? And it's that's the thing about it is it's, I've gotten rid of a lot of this stuff because yeah, a lot of it was my buddy Steve's stuff, and so some of it has moved on. More Bazooka Joe, more early comic stuff, original art, original art, original art. Original art. Um, these are all the bottom of Turkish taffy. That one. Later one. Mm. Oh, it's getting to be a mess. It's getting to be a mess. Lots and lots of little things falling all over the place. <laughs> Yeah, the sun tarts is nice. Longer views of the original art? Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I can, I try to put the original comic when I can find them. with the thing but you can see like I have like five or six of these still and I only had art for like two of them when I went through everything some stuff you have to keep with the candy inside like this beautiful Neko and then this um this charms which I probably should do something with probably put this in the freezer it's gonna turn to mush at some point Disgustingly sad. It's yeah, it's already sweating a little. Ugh. Ugh. You know, it's sad when you have stuff that you know is going to disintegrate during the course of your lifetime. You know, this has probably been in this bag here for 20 years. You know, an additional 20 after it's, um, yeah. So, I should try not to talk over. So this is the little fold out that would have been in the fruit stripe thing wait is this the one or is this the no the bicentennial is this the bicentennial or maybe the other one's the bicentennial but as you can see it's just gorgeous just wonderful wonderful and then uh, this is the bicentennial one so they must have done this ah shoot coming apart that is always the danger of all these sort of fold out things is they just they just come apart in your hands because um because that's the danger okay set those to the side 
Then, <laughs> then you get bubblegum machine cards. And I, I post I post these on uh, Flickr pretty regularly just because they're so great. I don't know. Pal gum. What's the pal gum? And, you know, as you can see, we could spend 15, 20 minutes just going through all of those. Ugh, we're not going to go through all of them. So that pal one, they made this pal bubblegum was another sort of bazooka joe ripoff that had these super cool little kids and i only have two of these comics i have the wrapper in here somewhere too and i would love to find more of those love 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 to find more of those this is the top of a tic tac candy rack which is really cool um, as you can get on more, including the uh, Woody Woodpecker and the One Cent Pirate Tattoo. Here's the uh, Gumby Tattoo. Here's Pal Pokey. Here's some old, some more Pal Bubble Gums. I should probably look those, make sure they don't have comics in them. I don't think they do. Ah, they don't. They don't. Bubble gum. A couple more packs of lifesaver gum. And the wild cherry was the one that I had the two big um yeah, that moon landing one is a beautiful, beautiful thing. A beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh I must have this somewhere. I don't know. Little sweet tarts wrapper. I have another one of these. Um ice cream gum. Lifesavers gum. Some still intact vintage fruit stripe gum. Still available for chewing. A little lemon head individual wrapper. Yeah, like this. This uh, Bugs Bunny and Roadrunner tattoo set. This is like a full set of them. So at some point somebody turned up all of them. Oh, here's the... That's the pal wrapper that had those little uh, comics in it. So, if you ever see any of those, pick them up. More, uh, you know, it's like, this is like original art to uh, the back of a baseball card, but it's like, which one is it? <laughs> Hulk candy. Sour lets. Oh, my nose is killing me. Stop killing me, nose. What did I ever do to you? Candy boxes are another whole collectible thing. They did DC superheroes, monsters, trolls, just a million different things. This is the Frankenstein one. Oh, here's another one of those sweet tarts. This one's really, really, really pretty. I love that art. It's like really, really, really pretty. Um, here's your Fruit Stripe Zebra Fun book. And then I also have the stuffed fruit stripe zebra which I have like an ad for that somewhere and they also made the other earlier fruit stripe characters as plush which I had at one point but I don't like keeping a lot of plush in my life still um what did I do big jaw big jaw now these are the troglodyte action packs so this would have had a piece of chocolate in here and then what happens is you do this and then you push down on it Ah, the monsters, the monsters. And these are all these are all numbered. I think there's like 70 of these and somebody had some had like a couple of full boxes of these which didn't go for that much money. Um they were I mean, they're not reasonable, but they weren't they weren't crazy crazy priced. Um yeah. On eBay just like in the last year or so. Um Look, more Bazooka Joe and Archie's comics. And Tommy Swells and, you know, it's like, uh, gosh. <laughs> because these were a thing that kids saved. And, you know, occasionally there's like a category that kids saved a lot of stuff. It's 
well, bubble gum. Yeah, these are all just bubble gum type wrappers. Mm. I had this, I had a full box of these Kojak lollipops at one point, which um, I think I sold the New Jersey John. I think he ended up with that. But I saved a couple of those labels. These are the the candy to the lick and lick lick sticks. Um, I have that wrapper in here somewhere. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. Now we get into some more wrappers and whatnot, and we'll get to some more of the kind of actual candy type candy wrappers. It's like a Necco um, marshmallow Santa Claus. Yum! Please, thank you. A big uh, M and M with this cool, this cool little kid on the back. The King Kong candy bar wrapper. Uh, a planner's jumbo block. Those were really good. Nice bigger bazooka label, two piece. So that's from England. <laughs> Yeah, Jason says a few of those boxes of the troglodytes showed up. Fruit stripe. This one's really cute. Hot dog bubble gum. Actually, I think there's two things in here. What else is in here? And that's the thing, you know. Oh, look at that. Schmackachoos. It's like there's always stuff under stuff. Powerhouse. This one's neat. Giant tart. So it's a giant, one single giant sweet tart. Bubble yum. Oh, here's like another, another Rolo. This is, um, this one's kind of cool because it's a Neko with a Disney album offer. Uh, Nestle Go Ahead bar. Nestle Animal Bar. And as you can see, there's no <laughs> no rhyme nor reason as to uh, how, how this stuff's all sort of packed away in here. Um, another thing I was looking for really hard initially, initially was Zots. Because I totally remember these. And the funny thing, they still make Zots and they look almost exactly the same. Professor Popper's Sugarless Perfect Bubblegum. And there's like tons and tons of sugarless bubblegum stuff that you can uh, look for. Orbit chewing gum. Little tiny Christmas gobstopper box. This is a super fun wrapper. Another super hard thing to find. I think Jason found these ones too. Jolly Rancher apple sticks, which I love to death. One of the favorite, my favorite candy flavors of all time. But, you know, it's like those things are sticky and just, just a hard to... Uh, hard to save wrapper and so yeah jason found i think two or three different flavors of these and those are the only ones of those i've ever seen or heard of um gonna just be very hard to ever find whatchamacallit one of my favorite candy bars that i still like to enjoy occasionally nice bazooka and i mean just you know let's Let's think about think for a second about how ephemeral this blockhead's bubblegum wrapper is. It's it's like maybe three quarters of an inch cello. And I think this one, a lot of this sort of really ephemeral ones, there was a guy up in San Francisco that was his family had was selling all his stuff. And they had all sorts of stuff, including a lot of candy and gum stuff. And so much of it was like that, just like super ephemeral, just nothing wrappers, you know, just like little bits of nothing. You know, things like, you know, charms, chocolate almonds. Just, oh, uh, Jason found these guys too, these. That's like so cool. Like, I think I, maybe I had a full box of these. That's the only reason I have this one. 
freshen up gum you know freshen up gum another category where you could find tons and tons of stuff on that some weird little transfers from some sort of Japanese something or other something or other um, these guys are these are like Dietz gum which is really early 30s stuff but they did a series of these uh, Disney ones which which show up I think I have one on eBay right now got a couple of those oh here's the uh, and like with fun dip it's like I was always looking for a fun dip and then this one guy uh, one big I think a bazooka Joe collector um, he found he had a bunch of them so he must have had a full box or something they were all sort of stained and whatever but and he was selling them on eBay and like the first couple went for a bunch and then they just kept coming down in price and eventually I bought one that's pretty funky but you know like with something like that I was looking for it my whole life <laughs> I'll take a funky one Sand Hill with Candy Ants. Quench Gum. Tootsie Pop Drops. Here's a, it's like a, a Bub. More Wise Cracks. Um, another little sales brochure. You're like, well, certs, and I mean, it has all the it, these gums. I should have those somewhere. I don't know where those gums are, but boom, on the back, there's the chiclets. There's all the fizzies, yeah. And then here's the liquid made in these sort of bigger packs. Pro sports, two more, more bazooka, delicious fish. I mean, look at that. That is, that's an illustration. That, my friends, is an illustration. <laughs> Hot chew. I think this is like, maybe this is like a header for a box or something. I don't know what this is from. Mm -hmm. Juji fruits. There's a few different Drax snacks. I think these ones are samples or something. They're really weird. But they have uh, these beautiful Gene Colan illustrated monsters on the back. So I don't know what the deal on those is. You know, I mean, like, you know, here's like, look at this. It's like a little... Yeah, it's just hard to see. It's like Brock's. It's like a little tiny Brock's candy wrapper. Well... Just a little piece of nothing cello. <sighs> like these Milk Duds trivia game ones, I had like 20 or 30 of these. Those Max Shacks are mock-ups. I don't think those designs were ever sent out. Yeah, they're, they just don't seem right. The Bazooka Magic Joe Circle Club kit has like a has like a 64 tops baseball thing in here actually there's more bazooka joe stuff you know club kit card letter and the funny thing about this is if you know anything about comic book dealing michael carbonero is one of the biggest comic book dealers um, in the world and so he he sent away for this maybe when he was a kid and then at some point he sold it um, and so uh, that was Michael's probably his childhood thing and you still see Michael at um, all the big uh, all the big shows yummy mummies this one I saved I bought this in the store and saved it back in the 80s and that's the other thing is like if I'd have cared about '80s stuff, I could have had you know I could have bought tons and tons of stuff off the shelf and saved it, but I didn't. Sorry, sorry everybody, sorry everybody that loves that and collects that stuff, but I didn't care at the time. So if you don't care at the time, it doesn't happen. Like this, see, and this is what I would do to stuff. This one, I'm pretty sure I saved, and I you know I didn't save the whole box. I cut it up. 
Because I need to save all that space in my life. <sighs> Somebody asked about Hershey's. We have a couple little Hershey's something or others in here. Let's see what we got here. Um, Dudley Do Right Charge. I think I had the display box for that too. Big Cherry, which is one of my mom's favorite candies. Oh, this is a Hershey's Rally Bar. And another one of these. Uh, there's the rabbit chocolate covered marshmallow. Mm. Well, we're not going to go too far over. I'm getting to the bottom of this box. Uh, let's see. Mm. Watermelon sticks. Um, Jolly Rancher box. Just the top. The other reason why these shows are only an hour is because I get tired out all this talking. <laughs> it's me talking for an hour. Little little Butterfinger. <sighs> this is a this is one of the most full box. You know, this is pretty much everything in here except the Wonka display boxes, all in one box. That's these Crunch. Peter Paul No Jelly. little bit of a Three Musketeers box. This one's really neat. Space Wars. Leaf Space Wars. And that was the thing about it is, did we already do a gravel? I think we already did a gravel. You know, somebody like Leaf, they can be like, Star Wars is huge, and they can have this on the market maybe in six months. You know? Like, just it's just bubblegum. They already make the bubblegum. All they have to do is uh, make a new packaging. This is really, this one's cute. with the circus peanuts with that really cute little elephant. I like him. Flat foot bubblegum, Hershey's chocolate, Hershey's chocolate with almonds. And that's the thing, you know, this kind of stuff. This is nice. It's a early Reese's Pieces. Maybe the first one. I don't know. Jason could probably tell us if that's the first one. m and Fruit Chewies. More Hershey's. Mr. Goodbar, Baby Ruth, Tiny Little Bubblegum, Bat and Ball. I think I had a full display box of these at one point. That's an original design Reese's Pieces. Yep. So that's the first one of those, probably. I'm mean, not probably. Jason says it is. Grapearoo. Grapey. <laughs> Baby Ruth. You know, I don't have a lot of gum card things, but this is just sort of in here. I mean, they, they have another whole thing you could collect. All the gum card wrappers. The guys have been collecting that for a lifetime. Kind of weird Disney candy bar. Nice foil Rocky Road. Fifth Avenue. Big Hunk. Reese's Planters Peanut Cups. The Reggie Bar. I don't know what this is. This is like, I think this is the bottom of a box of some sort of thing. Okay. Where are we? Where are we, where are we at now? Where are we at now? Where are we at now, friends? So these ones are some more Sugar Daddy stuff. I already did those. I think we did... One of those sugar mamas already. A couple more of those that we already had. So they also did this series of Disney comics. Um, and then you can find these nice big ones. They're really good looking. Just really, really pretty comics. Just, just gorgeous. Sugar Baby's box, probably from the, probably from the uh, movie theater. I would, I would guess. Oh, these were we had those transfers early, er, and they were from these gums. Sky Kid, Latte Sky Kid. Um, 
a couple of coupons, peach, nut, and fruit stripe. An Adam Sour Grape Gum. Wah! Yeah, digging deeper and deeper and deeper to the bottom. And then I have one more little pile. At the bottom, we've got this neat Sour Apple display box. This is one of my favorites. Um, a big double bubble display box with putt on there. I really like. I remember um, I remember saving these Bart uh, bubblegum uh, Butterfinger wrappers. There's like a little crackle mini from like the 70s probably. Cherry sticks kisses. So those are all those are the kisses as opposed to the actual sticks. And this is the bottom of the strawberry box. Um, oh, this is really cool. Oh, I haven't looked at these things in a while. This is like a giant sweet tart jawbreakers um, gumball machine header. Oh, leave me alone. Uh, a double bubble. Uh, this would have been, you know, a header for a bag. But man, just look at that illustration. And that's another thing you can collect is um, Halloween related candy display boxes. Uh, that is, you can have hundreds of different ones of those. And I, I used to have, you know, 10 or 20 and I don't have any anymore. This is really a cool box. That kid has some serious freckles. Some serious, serious, you know. And then also with the gumball things, you get cool stuff like this. These ones, I, I don't keep a lot of non-candy gumball ones, but man, look at these weird-ass creatures. Look at this. What is that thing? Is that a real animal? Jungle reptiles. And of course, all these guys. Just, just great, great art. Um, did we do the flicks? I don't know if I did the flick. I don't know. Um, this is a really pretty, pretty wrapper with this little duck. Another one of those marshmallow coated things. So we had, what did I have? A Santa Claus and an Easter Bunny. Edgar Bergen bubblegum wrapper. Cable car walnut cream fudge. A creamsicle that should be with all the other stuff like that. That's not. That is not. I don't know what this is. Where's the beef Fleer wrapper? Flick crisp bar. We did one of those already. Devil gum. Curtis Candy. This is like a pop-up header for a uh, for a box. This is what is this? This is a oh, this is a Sour Charms Pop wrapper. As you can see, this one's pretty pretty too crinkly to uh, tangy taffy. Arch. They did a whole series of Archie uh, tangy taffies, which I've had a couple of those boxes in the past. <laughs> it's like Nestle's king size chocolate. With this really cool, probably big foam airplane you could order. We had one of those big foam airplanes when we were kids. Wow, the E. Rosen duck wrapper is just amazing. Never seen one. What was the E. Rosen duck wrapper? I don't know. Uh, old Nick. 100000 dollars bar. Special dark. <laughs> There's like Zots. It's a little five pack. Uh, Super Mario Brothers candy bar. Very early on. It's a Gremlins thing, probably sold maybe at the movie theater. I don't know. 
my friend. Uh, it's like a tray for mounds. Another one of those sugar daddies, not in great shape. Fresh bubble berries gum. And this is like another whole really neat category, which are these, they're sort of bagged ones. And they just, strawberry shortcake, vanilla soda, gumballs, chocolate soda, bazooka bits. Oh, this is an earlier one. Hershey's Hershey's. Quicksand, quicksand. Put them over so it gets a good graphic size. Quicksand. My favorite. Big banana. What does it say over there? Ape approved. Doggies. And watermelon. Okay, and I think we just have one more pile of stuff. Um, another cool Turkish taffy. Casper was uh, the pitch man. And here's, you know, here's the line of all these Turkish taffies. And dots and black crows. Um, never seen any of those bags. Zero. Zero. Um, do I have a favorite candy bar? Oh my god, we're going to start with the do you have a favorite candy? I love candy. I'm Reese's actually Reese's miniatures is probably my favorite candy. Um if you said you can only have one kind of candy for the rest of your life, it that would yeah, that would probably be it. Um peanut M&M's very close behind that. Uh jelly bellies very close behind that. Any kind of licorice, any Swedish fish, red Swedish fish. Um the whatchamacallit candy bar is a is a is a no brainer. Um you know, candy is just like <sighs> picking a favorite. Ping the pixie candy box. It's really cool. And then the sales sheet. And we can see. Yeah, how great is that? Wholesale sheet. Um, a couple little Disney cutouts from the bottom of uh, trays. You know, there's just like stuff like this. This is really cool because it's a PUD double bubble. Um, unused wrapper. Somebody must have found a million of those at some point. And some great ads. Little Hans. The harmonica offer. The magic tricks offer this stuff the wax gum nickel nicks and all that stuff like look at this look at that monster one i had those when i was a kid i'm pretty sure like you know you would die if you found one of those unused like that you would just die you'd be unbelievable yeah big casper collector you've never seen one of those yeah i mean it's not to say they aren't out there somewhere but it's not like you're going to find all of them. You know, maybe one one collector has one of them. You know, look at this. Look at that monster. Oh, my God. Look at that witch. Oh, my God. Oh, so pretty. Oh, this is a little choo-choo Charlie. Um, huh. I feel like I have this. Do I have that? I don't know. <laughs> Um, this is super cool. It's a little Hans puzzle, and then this is the tray where you would have got that puzzle. Um, nice, uh, one here with the Jolly Rancher, and then they have a whole sort of history of Jolly Rancher on the back. Um, this was a whole thing that was at the New York World's Fair for Chunky. They explain it on the back here. And then this pops up, and it sort of shows you what the thing is, sort of in 3D. And at one point, I did some research on it, and they they had all sorts of um, information on it. It's this big artist, 
We're going to end with the Yipe Stripes TV coloring book. So we only went over about 15 minutes. I think we got to most everything here. So um, I want to say thank you to everybody. Looks like we got eight viewers out there stuck with us to the end. Um, yeah. Thanks, everybody. Um, this has been fun. I hope... I hope you all enjoyed yourself. I mean, those of you that are here, I'm sure enjoyed yourself because you've sort of stuck with it <laughs> through the ins and outs. The late starting shows, the I think we canceled once maybe. Um, I think maybe only once did we cancel. We got me with uh, rubbing my nose all, uh, all show. Uh, I apologize for that. But my nose is super itchy this show. Um... Yeah, and if you haven't watched all the old shows, go back and watch all the old shows. There's uh, a lot of them. Um, thanks, Mom. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, uh, and and you know, go out there and you know, look on Instagram and go look at go join Jason Nito Coolville and and all the rest of them. Everybody has these great um, feeds. Uh, thanks, Dennis. Um, yeah, so. Uh, I'm going to keep doing other stuff on, on my channel. We do our my crazy uh, old movie review show where we we go nuts. And I have some more other Mr. Toast and whatnot content. So so keep hanging around if you can. Um, yeah, it's been fun. And yeah, you guys made it fun. You know, Jason and everybody else sort of fact-checking in real time. Not that it was like bad fact checking it was good fact checking you know fact checking is wonderful where i can sort of posit a question to the group mind and the group mind comes back with some some information that i didn't know you know who's that global pop culture that collects gasper stuff and had never seen one of those so was it global um somebody yeah i don't know now we're look at that devil monster uh hmm. i don't know so yes i'm glad everyone's gotten distracted a little bit and uh, enjoyed yourselves. So I'm going to sign off. Uh, I will see you all maybe in the future. And if you ever have questions, just uh, you can get in contact with me. I'm easy to find. And I'm always happy to answer questions or help out with anything anybody really needs. Okay. Thank you, guys. See you later.